Hello everybody and welcome. In this video we are going to talk about the basic blend modes. Multiply, Darken, Screen and Lighten. Let's start with Darken. Darken mixes two colors by choosing only the darkest of each of the red, green and blue values. In other words, it first compares the red in the two layers and picks only the darker red, then compares the green in the two colors and picks only the darker green and finally compares the blue in the, two layer, in the two colors and picks only the darker blue. The result is a mixture of the three darker components. I'm going to set up an example to illustrate. I draw a circle and set the circle so that there is a little red and a lot of green and no blue. Then I create another layer above the first. I set the blend mode of the layer to darken. In the second layer, I first of all decrease the amount of green. The blend mode shows only the layer with the darker green. In this case, it's the top layer. Next, I increase the amount of red. The blend mode shows only the layer with the darker red, which is in this case the lower layer. I'm going to quickly draw a small rectangle so I can use the color picker to read off the RGB values of the three areas. As you can see, the left area has a bright green and a dark red. The right area has a bright red and a dark green, and the overlapping part combines the dark green and the dark red. Lighten does exactly the same as darken, but instead of picking the darker color, it picks the lighter color. So, using the same example, I set the blend mode of layer 2 to lighten, and as you can see, the overlapping part is now a mixture of the brighter green and the brighter red. Now, let's see what multiply does. Multiply has the overall effect of darkening images. It takes the bottom layer and multiplies each RGB component by an amount between 0 and 100%. The amount is determined by the color in the layer above. For example, if the red in the top layer is halfway, then it multiplies the red in the bottom layer by 50% or so. So I'm going to create an example. In the bottom layer, I set the red to 100, and I set the blue and the green to 0. Then, in the top layer, I set the blue to 255, and the green to zero. Then I set the blend mode on the top layer to multiply. I set the red component to 127, that's uh, exactly halfway. The red component in the overlapping area becomes darker because it is multiplied by 50%. Remember, I put the red component to exactly halfway, so that is why it's multiplied by 50%. Selecting the rectangle and using the color picker, I can confirm, confirm that the darker area is exactly 50% of the original. If I set the red component to minimum, it multiplies the original by 0%. In other words, it completely removes the red from the overlapping part. If I set the red component to maximum, it multiplies the original by 100%. In other words, the amount of red in the original does not change at all. Next, have a, let's have a look at screen. Screen adds color components in the upper layer to the lower layer. What it does exactly is kind of hard to explain, but for simplicity's sake, it's comparable to shining colored light onto the layer below. To give an example, I first set the blend mode to screen. Next, I set the red of the bottom circle to 255 and the green and the blue to zero. As for the top layer, I set the red and the blue to zero, and I set the green to 255. The overlapping part becomes yellow. This is like shining pure green light onto a pure red color, and the result is a mixture of the two. Let's select the rectangle and use the color picker to inspect the color of the overlapping part. As you can see, it's indeed a mixture of 100% red and 100% green. So, in summary, 
Lighten compares the red, green and blue values of the two layers and keeps the brightest values. Darken also compares the red, green and blue layers of the, of the two layers and keeps the mm, darkest values. Multiply multiplies the RGB values in the lower layer by a fraction determined by the RGB values in the upper layer. And screen adds the RGB values in the upper layer to the layer below. So that's the four major blend modes explained. As you can see, there are a lot more blend modes available in Inkscape, but I won't get into those right now. That's a story for another video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, you might find this video useful too. And while you are here anyway, why not click on the like button. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.